Hello, and welcome back to another English lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to tackle some of those tricky English phrasal verbs, but we're going to do it while walking around a town in Arizona, not too far from the Grand Canyon. So it is early in the morning, and my voice isn't quite ready, and there's a huge bird over here, a big crow. Can you see him up there? He was squawking, oh, there he goes. He was squawking just a minute ago. <clears throat> yeah, so let's talk about some English phrasal verbs. My son and I stayed at this hotel last night, the Holiday Inn, Exp Inn. the Holiday Inn Express and in Suites. I'm an early riser. I like to wake up early in the morning. My son doesn't so much. So I've been up for a couple hours. He was just starting to wake up. I went down into the lobby and had breakfast. It was a good breakfast. Um, they had everything you needed and the staff there were super helpful. They would get you coffee if you wanted it. I wanted to get my own, but they were super nice. But I told my son, I'm gonna clear out of the room. That might be a new English phrasal verb, clear out. You can use this when you're leaving a place and you think somebody has to do something. So my son, he's going to be getting ready because in just a little while, we're gonna be visiting the Grand Canyon. So I wanted to get out of his way. Hotel rooms are small. And when you're trying to take a shower, get ready in the morning, you might want a little room, which is why I told him I was going to clear out. Uh, maybe if you went to a party and people are wanting to go to sleep, whoever hosted that party, you might say, hey, we're gonna clear out now. Just give them a chance to, to go to bed if they want to. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still having a, it's been about a week uh, since I've had COVID, but in the morning, my voice is still a little uh, raw. I talked about raw in um, the lesson I did out in the blizzard, if you haven't seen that one yet. But if you're ever going to visit the Grand Canyon, let's take a look at some things to do around the Grand Canyon. Across the street is another hotel. Around here, there are a lot of hotels, <clears throat> not too many restaurants, and the restaurants that are here are expensive. Unless you want to go see, or excuse me, unless you want to go eat at McDonald's. <clears throat> Let's talk about uh, close down. Close down. That's another English phrasal verb you might use around here because everything closes down early. <clears throat> I was surprised. <clears throat> Do you know what I'm doing there? <clears throat> I'm clearing my throat. That's what we say in English, I'm clearing my throat. But everything closed down at like eight o'clock and uh, some of the people that I'm staying with, they didn't eat dinner at that point and it was hard to find any place to eat because everything was closed down and it seems like everything opens late because it's already 8 18. i do know this gas station is open because i walked here last night i need some caffeine I th and I don't usually drink coffee, so I think I might get a monster. And I know some people in the comments have told me, hey, that stuff is killing you. You might be right, but it is gonna help me wake up this morning. Here's a, here's a restaurant, let's go up this way. Here's a restaurant some people ate at last night, and it's a Mexican restaurant, and they said it was pretty good. It's called Plaza Bonita restaurant. 
Oh, here's an airplane. Can you imagine flying in an airplane over the Grand Canyon? It's just a little airplane, but I bet that's what's going on, maybe. Maybe. You can, I know you can skydive into the Grand Canyon. Skydiving when you're in a plane and you jump out with a parachute, that's skydiving. Now, I will do an English lesson in the blizzard. I will jump from a bridge. I will do an English lesson on a roller coaster. I don't know if I would skydive into the Grand Canyon, but it would be interesting. Okay, it says it's open, but I don't think they are. You know what? I think they are, because it says breakfast here. So they probably are open. Not too many cars in the parking lot, though. Oh yeah, they're open. They're open at 7.30, but you can't bring your guns in here. You will notice, <clears throat> excuse me, clear in my throat. I need that caffeine. I need to wake up a little more. Uh, I need to talk about the altitude too. But you'll notice there's a lot of Spanish writing here. There's also a lot of Spanish spoken because we aren't that far away from the Mexican border. It's a few hours to drive there, but there are some people who uh, leave Mexico and come to the United States. And of course, they also speak Spanish and English. <clears throat> We're not gonna eat here. I already ate at the uh, at the hotel, but we can take a look in here. Hello. Well, I was just looking to see if you were open and... We are open. Oh, great. I'm doing a, just a little video in case anybody wants to visit from uh, uh, the Grand Canyon. So, yeah, so if you want to come here, they are serving breakfast and it looks, uh, looks pretty cool here. breakfast every morning. I don't think they like the camera, so we're not gonna stay too long, but if you want to visit the Grand Canyon and come eat here at the Plaza Bonita restaurant, looks good. Looks like they uh, had some real Mexican food there. <clears throat> and like I said, the people last night said it was uh, really good. All right, let me talk about the altitude. If you've seen the Grand Canyon video, I mentioned we are above 2,000 meters. So uh, it gets a little hard to breathe if you're walking any kind of distance. Oh, here we have a very nice American restaurant. Maybe you've heard of it. It is called Wendy's. And they might be open for breakfast too, but if I had my choice, I would go to Plaza Bonita restaurant. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We ate at another place up here. <clears throat> it is a bit of a far walk. I'm not sure if we will get up there, but um, it was a place that made pizza and pasta. And I believe the name of the restaurant was We Make Pizza and Pasta. And it was pretty good, but it was pretty expensive. You can always have McDonald's. That's down there. We wanted last night to eat at the Big E Steakhouse, but it was closed. Oh. You see that right there? Discontinued for the season. A lot of people will visit the Grand Canyon in the spring, summer, fall, winter. I'm visiting in the winter. Can you tell? It is cold here. I don't know how cold. Hey Siri, 
What's the temperature out? It's 27 degrees outside. Okay. So 27 degrees out, I don't know what that is. In uh, centimeter, centimeter, Celsius? I'll put it up on the screen though. So discontinued for the season probably means in the winter, oh yeah, you won't, you won't be able to do it. And if you look at this, summer only. So it's discontinued, the bus will not come pick you up. And this steakhouse is not open. Oh, look at all the different. So that looks, right there, that looks like Spanish. That is definitely Italian. And that looks like German. Is that, oh, that's French. Oh gosh. Okay, Japanese? Chinese, maybe? Different kinds of Chinese? I don't think any of that is Korean. If it is, I apologize. I think Japanese, Chinese. <clears throat> but you will only mostly find English and Spanish spoken here. The Big E Steakhouse and Saloon looks pretty cool, but like I said, closed in the winter. But it's weird, we call these things propane heaters because that's a propane tank filled with propane gas. So if they weren't open in the winter, I don't think they would have these out. Yeah, and it said open daily from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. But they weren't open last night. We wanted to eat here. We had to have uh, pizza and pasta instead. And guess what? It was really expensive. This is a tourist town. And that's a town where tourists go. You probably knew that. But they do usually charge a little more because um, they just, there's no place else to go. Actually, we are coming to the end of the town it's just right up here. There isn't a lot to do, so they can charge a little bit more. And I also think it's expensive to get goods here, the food to make. So you have to pay the gas for the trucks to get here. But here's a gas station. <clears throat> Excuse me, have to keep clearing my throat. And the gas here is way more expensive than where I live. Do you hear what I said there? I said, than where I live. It should have been than where I live, but a lot of Americans will just say then for than. It's, a, it's an easier sound to make and we're a little lazy. Yeah, for the cheapest gas, $4.59 per gallon. The most expensive gas is over $5 a gallon. Just a couple years ago, it was about $2 a gallon. And that's what we do. We measure gas by the gallon here. I think most of the world measures it in liters, but you know, Americans, we have to be different. It looks like you can take some tours. Ooh. Oh, let's check out these things. I think we might call these Hummers in English. And it looks like you can take a tour. Last night, a small group of us went to the Grand Canyon and we saw a lot of elk in the woods. And when I go to the Grand Canyon today for the English lesson, I hope I will be able to show you some elk Right now, all I hear are birds. But look at these hummers. So it looks like you can take a tour into the Grand Canyon on a hummer. 
But I wonder if they're only open in the summer. It says, please take a brochure. This is a brochure. I will take a brochure. Oh, there's a chocolate factory here. Uh, you know, I think I was supposed to be talking about English phrasal verbs and I have forgotten to do that. I've just been looking at all the other things around here. Hmm. I would like to try that chocolate shop. Those are horses, but we also might call them stallions. It's another name for uh, a horse. That stuff right there is called bunting, bunting. Yeah, this looks like an old saloon. That might be an old term for a bar. <clears throat> In the Wild West, many years ago, over a hundred years ago, in the western part of the United States, they might have had something called a saloon where the cowboys would go get their drinks. This is just a, a steakhouse. Let's get our, let's get our picture here. Does that work? I'm too close, I think. That's something we call a covered wagon. It's cold around here, there's ice. Can I hop up over this? <clears throat> That's a phrasal verb, hop up. I might be a little bit too old. Let's see here, put the camera down. We did it. Yeah, so here's a covered wagon. And we're actually getting uh, to the edge of town here where we ate last night. They have some coffee place here I've never heard of. Starbu Star Starbucks, Starbucks co coffee, Starbucks coffee. Very rare, I think. But they do have something called a Starbucks. Oh, they have a general store here. That's an older term too, a general store. Just means like they have a little bit of everything in there. And this is where we ate last night. We cook Pizza and pasta. I mean, there's no doubt. That's the name of the place. We cook pizza, Grand Canyon. And because of COVID, they do have things called touch-free menus. You can download those on your phone. I bet you have that in your country, but in English, we call it a touch-free menu. It's the end of the town. That's the town right before the entrance to the Grand Canyon, which is right over there. All right, I'm gonna get my caffeine. Not sure if you learned so many English phrasal verbs, but I hope you learned a lot of English. Thanks for watching. See you next time.